So I want to work through at least three examples of solving exponential equations using logarithms. So I have a lead in here. So if f of x equals log base b of x, then f inverse of x equals b to the x. And the bases here, it's right important that they're the same. So if two functions are inverses of one another, f and f inverse, then if we do a composition, f of f inverse, or if we do it the other way, so in this case we'd have log base b, log base b evaluated at f inverse at b of x, or if we go the other way, f inverse of f, so b raised to the f, log base b of x, when you do a composition of two functions that are inverses, what happens is right, everybody cancels and x comes out. Okay, so I want to show you some examples, and I have a note here. Your answers may not be integers. In fact, most likely will not be. And I'll show you an exact answer and an approximate answer in case you want to know both. Okay. And I have a little story that I like to tell when I solve these. And it's a little goofy, but hopefully, that, hopefully it will help you remember. Okay, so here's my first logarithm equa or exponent equation. I am solving 2 to the x equals 15. So you might try say, hey, well, wait a minute. If I can write that 15, if I can write the other side as a base 2 with a power, then I already have a strategy. But we can't. But maybe you're already thinking about what's close, and so maybe guesstimating what a, a good answer would look like. Okay. But since we can't find it um, nicely, easily, what I want to do is I need to bring this x down in front. Okay. So here's how. OK, here's the story. Are you ready? So I need to rescue the Princess X, and she's held up here in the balcony of two. Okay. So in order to break her free, bring her down from the balcony, I'm going to use a battering ram. And my battering ram, right, to break through the portcullis, is made of a log. And it's most effective if my log has the exact same base, right, as the base of the balcony. So this has a base of 2. So if I apply a log base 2 to the left-hand side, right, it's like matter and antimatter. They're inverse functions. They exactly cancel. And what happens is the princess falls down to the ground to be rescued. Now, you should be a little concerned. I just I had an equation right in black. And I just applied a log to the left-hand side. And as you know, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So an exact answer, by the way, I could be done. If I wanted an exact answer, it would be log base 2 of 15. Okay. If you wanted to approximate that answer, would have to use a change of base property. So in your calculator, you would have to do natural log of 15 over natural log of 2, or common log, either way. Let me grab my calculator. I'm not sure. I haven't practiced yet. Let me see if this shows up here. So it would be natural log of 15, close your parentheses, divide natural log of 2, and enter. Yes, right, really close to 4, so 3.907. How about that, 3.907, if we have to approximate. So really close, I said that wrong, 907. I got them in the wrong order, 907, thank you. Um, really close to 4 because, right, 2 to the 4th would have gotten me to 16, and 15 is really close to 16. So yes, I was expecting something in that ballpark, and hopefully you were too. Okay, so let's do two more examples. So 3 to the x plus 2 equals 14. So again, here's the princess up here in the balcony. She has a different base this time. 
and there's this plus two hanging out on the same side. Right? So this is sort of like the, the guards right out in front. And first thing we have to do to get to the princess is right, we have to peel off everybody else who's around her. So the guards outside, so we're going to subtract it from both sides, get rid of the guards. So now I have 3 to the x equals 12. Be careful. Right? It's not 4. There's nothing about 4 going on here because it's an exponent that we're looking for. The base is 3. So what log are we going to apply? Exactly. Technically, it doesn't matter. You could pick any base log. It's just if we choose base 3, and we actually have to write in the little 3. Ah, 3. If we choose base 3, then we're done at the end. Right? We don't have to do anything extra at the end. Log base 3 of 3, shh, here comes the princess. And then I have log base 3 of 12. Exact answer here, okay. approximate answer using a change of base property. Okay, here goes calculator over the top. Is it showing there? So I'll do common log this time to show you it doesn't matter. What were my numbers? 12 divided by common log of 3. Enter 2.262. How about that? 2.262 for our approximate answer. So 3 raised to the 2.262, blah, 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 gets me to 12. Okay, this last example, I've switched it up a little bit. Okay, so this time my ex, my princess, right, up here, there's nobody harassing her down here, no guards outside, right, outside the balcony. But I've got something going up, up here, right, in the princess's chamber. So she's got her waiting maids and things like that. So the first thing I have to do is get everybody down out of the balcony. So now my base is E. So the logarithm we would choose to apply is the natural one because the natural log and the e, right, those are inverse functions, same base, inverse functions that they annihilate. Shh. Princess and her entourage fall to the ground. 6 plus 2x equals the natural log of 5, and we're going to solve for the x. So now we're at peeling off everybody inside the chambers with the princess. So the 6 comes across. It doesn't combine with the 5, right? In order to um, change the argument of a logarithm, you're going to have to use a property, a log property. You'll know if you've done it because it'll hurt just a little bit. Okay, so negative 6 plus natural log 5. Yes, you could have natural log 5 minus 6, but then you might be tempted to write a negative 1, and then all sorts of bad things happen. And then finally, divide everybody by 2. So exact answer negative 6 plus the natural log of 5 all over 2. Okay. Yes, absolutely. There are a bunch of different ways you could write this. Okay, I'm going to show off just a little bit, and you can verify that all of these are the same. Okay. There's one. I guess I don't have that many. I have one more. This last one's my favorite. All right. Good luck.